In this video, I will demonstrate how to read and write to the ESP32 via Bluetooth connection from Android device using Kajular. I can control LEDs, and receive data readings from a DHT sensor on the ESP32. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Let's get started. In this experiment, I'm using an ESP32 UNO device which comes with built-in Bluetooth connectivity. Its form factor, and GPIO pins are similar to that of an Arduino UNO. I'm using a DHT sensor to measure temperature and humidity, which will be sent to an Android device. Additionally, there are red, yellow, and green LEDs that will be controlled by the Android device via Bluetooth. This is the ESP code I'm using. I'm utilizing the Bluetooth serial library for Bluetooth connection and, of course, the DHT library to read the DHT sensor. The output consists of three outputs for the red, yellow, and green LEDs. In the looping procedure, every 5 seconds, the ESP will read the DHT sensor and send the temperature and humidity readings to the Bluetooth serial. Also, if there's any serial data received from Android, the ESP will read the data in the format of red, yellow, green, representing the values for each LED, and control the LEDs accordingly. Here's the Kajular design, similar to the previous video for reading and writing to Arduino via USB serial. The design includes a Bluetooth connection button, a status label, buttons to control the LEDs, labels to display temperature and humidity, and a button to close the Bluetooth connection. The other components include a clock component for timing purposes and a Bluetooth client component for connectivity. Here are the Kajular block codes. We begin by initializing several variables that will be used throughout the program. Then, there's a button for establishing a Bluetooth connection to select a Bluetooth device and initiate the connection. Following that, there are buttons to turn on the red, yellow, and green LEDs by sending corresponding values via Bluetooth serial communication. The format of the values sent corresponds to the LED colors, red, yellow, and green. At the bottom, we utilize a timer to continuously read serial data received from the ESP device. This data is then displayed on labels showing the temperature and humidity readings. Now, let's try the program using the Kajular Companion. First, press the Connect to Bluetooth button to select a Bluetooth device. Then, choose the Bluetooth device named ESP32. Upon selection, the status label will change to Connected. Let's now try turning on and off each LED by pressing the corresponding color button, red, yellow, and green. This action will control the LEDs on the ESP32, allowing you to observe their behavior. On the temperature and humidity labels, you'll notice updates every 5 seconds, corresponding to the interval at which the ESP sends temperature and humidity data. When the disconnect button is pressed, the Bluetooth connection to the ESP32 will be terminated. Consequently, pressing the LED buttons will result in an error message stating not connected to Bluetooth device. Thus, we need to establish the connection again to reconnect with the ESP32. Thank you for watching. In this video, I've demonstrated how to control the ESP32 via Bluetooth by sending serial data. In this example, we utilize serial Bluetooth write to turn LEDs on and off. In addition to writing, we've also showcased serial Bluetooth reading, where we read data sent by the ESP32 and displayed it on labels. In our example, we extracted temperature and humidity values.
You can download all the files used in this video from the link provided in the video description. I hope this video will helpful. See you in the next video.